Recently, we found out that the world government had a special desire for a specific Akuma no Mi. They have been trying to find it for about 800 years, that is, since the end of the last century, but they never succeeded. The main theory of the Gorosei, the leaders of the world government, is that the fruit has a fairly strong will of its own, so it can escape on its own. But is this true? Didn't the world government have special help in finding this fruit? Is Shanks involved in this and it makes him a villain? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your Akuma no Mi. And if you're new here, my dear sailor, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video here from Anime Joy Boy, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the new world! Now, without further ado, let's get to this epic video! And well, my dear pirate, about 10 years before the story of One Piece begins, the government identify and pick up the fruit in a way in a place we don't know about yet. Then, they transported on a ship using high-ranking guards. In the lead was CP9 member Who's Who, who was considered a prodigy within the organization. However, Who's Who failed to defend the Akuma no Mi from an attack by none other than Shanks and the Redhead Pirate, who managed to steal it. Shanks landed in Falsa Village, and one of the gang members, Loki Ru, always kept the fruit stored in the trunk, until the day they got all distracted during a party, which is when Monkey D. Luffy ate it. We are talking about the Gomu Gomu no Mi, and as you might have noticed, the fruit not always had this name. It is actually Hito Hito no Mi, Model Nika, a legendary Soan. However, the world government made sure to change its name to Gomu Gomu no Mi and classify it as a paramecia throughout the period while they were searching for it. This not only helped to throw off anyone who might be interested in her, but also served to erase the history behind its power. Now that we have seen the facts, let's get to the speculation. The doubts about Shanks' real intention throughout the whole story began to arise because of the character is quite mysterious, the kind who is always in the shadows and seems to be planning something in secret. Things got even worse when he met with the Gorosei without any problem. One of the pirate emperors entering the world government base to talk to the leaders. At this meeting, Shanks said he will need to talk about a certain pirate, which raised some questions. Many people thought it would be about Blackbird, who was becoming more and more powerful as time went on, but with the recent revelation, things might have changed a bit. Knowing with almost 100% certainty that Luffy is Joy Boy, meaning the person who will bring light and freedom to the world, which potentially means overthrowing the world government once and for all, why would Shanks warn the Gorosei about him? With that came the theory that Shanks wanted Mika's fruit to give it to Ace, after all he was the son of the Pirate Kings, Shanks' own former captain. The issue is that this is purely supposition, there is little to no evidence that points us towards that direction. My current position is to disagree with the idea that Shanks is a villain. I believe that he has done nothing so far to show this clearly. Maybe he is hatching a plan in the shadows, that's more than obvious, but a villainous plan? Probably not. Remember when Luffy declared the fifth emperor of the sea? Shanks saw that news with a smile on his face, not an evil smile, he seemed genuinely happy about it. And he was alone so he didn't have to pretend it to anyone. Now, to what I believe, my theory is that Shanks and Teach, Blackbeard, are two very important characters behind the scenes of the story. Remember that they are from the same generation and were rivals in childhood. Just as Shanks seems to seek out Nika's fruit, Teach had an even greater journey after Yami Yami no Mi, the fruit of darkness. Teach didn't want just any fruit, he specifically wanted that one. He planned all this from his youth, joined White Bear's gang, killed his superior, became Shishibukai, he did all this and much more, so that means his plan surely enters in the hall of the longest and most elaborated plans in the history of anime. Well, I believe that Hiro Hiro no Mi, Nika and the Yami Yami no Mi fruit must be rival fruits or opposites in some way. After all, one is the fruit of the hope and happiness, which we can see as the light, and the other is from the darkness. It is even possible that the Yami Yami no Mi is not even the official opening. Opening space for new powers are not explained by the darkness. Remember that it allowed Teach to have more than one power at the same time, besides nullifying the power of other fruits. So that's it. I believe that Shanks and Teach obtained secret knowledge about the two rival fruits, that they were more powerful than all others and could change history, and so they set out after it. Maybe even Shanks believed that he himself was Joy Boy. You know what makes me think about that? The straw hat! What if within this secret knowledge, Shanks read that Joy Boy will have a straw hat, 
just like the one hidden in the sacred land of the world government. Roger might have a clue to that, with the phony lips he read, so he gave the hat to Shanks. It said that in the end, when Luffy ate the fruit, Shanks must have noticed that it wasn't him all along, but this little brat. Since Shanks couldn't eat the Nika's fruit, he proceeded to manipulate the events behind the scenes to get Luffy to do what the Joy Boy was supposed to do, including giving him the straw hat. It is even worth remembering that Shanks and Teach have already had a direct fight, hence Shanks got those scars in his eyes, so they already have a history of fighting outside their reader's eyes. And the meeting with the Gorosei, in my opinion, was to warn them about Blackbird, about how he was becoming unstoppable while Luffy hadn't even awakened his fruit yet. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. In fact, I'd even rather be wrong. The idea of Shanks as a villain is quite interesting, but now I want to know what you think, so leave it in the comments. But of course, if you made it this far, it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt much to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of my fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button, it helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video!